Okay, today's Friday market wrap up. It was a huge night last night uh, for crypto. We had a massive, massive dump, which I am really excited about. We'll talk about why. Uh, before we dive into the charts, I want to take a look back here. We can see almost a month ago to the date, I was saying I'm looking to complete wave four as far as August 20th. Okay, that that would be, I wanted to complete wave four by August 20th or before August 20th. And, you know, if you look at what happened, we had our 25.2K high. And since then we've been going down and we found support actually right at our point of control around 21K. And I had been saying in all my videos and this, this screenshot here is from uh, actually a week ago today on August 12th. It's from my Friday market wrap up last week where I said, you know, uh, that 23K area is a, a huge level of support. Uh, if it is lost, we can look to this 21K or this 19.9K monthly as support. And like what actually happened is we bounced to the dollar on that point of control on that 21K level. It was just so awesome when that, when that happens, right? Uh, and of course, we just caught some massive longs. Two altcoin longs that I reviewed uh, just this last Wednesday, I was going over our altcoins, uh, which I'm just diving into. And I saw that we lost some supports that I was talking about. And being that we lost them, I go, I went ahead and opened up some shorts. And then, of course, uh, this Bitcoin short, which we'll take a look at. I actually had a little bit of a, a later entry than I would have liked. But nonetheless, I'm really, really happy about this. So uh, we'll take a look at the charts now and talk about what to expect in the coming days and weeks. So... Our overall analysis, you know, like I had said, uh, I, I was really, really, really hoping, you know, to make it somewhere up here and tap, you know, this uh, wedge here and that didn't happen. And honestly, that's a super bearish thing, right? That uh, price couldn't find the strength to make it back up to tap this resistance trend line. Okay. And we found resistance at the 17 at this drop here, the uh, 24, 25K. Um, VWAP here, anchored VWAP, we can see that we found resistance there, like right on the money. And actually, if you were to take uh, a um, Ray, you can see almost to the dollar, you know, from our low here, that was our high over here. Okay, so we did find some pretty heavy resistance and we are having some degree of a downtrend. And, you know, like I had said, uh, to the dollar, uh, you know, we're getting a bounce right at that uh, untapped daily, now tapped, of course, and point of control that I was pointing out before. And from here, I'm just looking for a short term long setup, you know, maybe back up to the previous month value area high in this 22.5k daily. And uh, if it, you know, were to be lost, then I, you know, as I said before, I really, really like this monthly level. I think that this is a great monthly level for some degree of a long. Okay. And, you know, generally speaking, I'm still looking at this impulse, this reverse impulse wave, which I'm going to give you another date for your calendar here. So we had one here. I'll pull it up here so we can actually take a look at it. Elliot wave count one through five, one, two, three. Now it's starting to look like right. Our wave four is is in. OK, and it got put in right about here. All right. If price were to go up above this 25.2K, then obviously wave four uh, wasn't complete. But in my opinion, after seeing this move down, I do not think that we're going to be taking out this high at 25.2K before revisiting the lows down here. Okay. So another, uh, another place to mark on your charts is November 5th. So if this is indeed an impulse wave, one, two, three, four, five. Wave five must be shorter than wave three, okay? And if we were to take wave three, that would put us at the same length of time, would be November 5th. So I'm going to be looking to complete wave five before November 5th. If we start to see, you know, uh, some degree of a move down, you know, sometime beforehand, you know, in this area here, actually, I would say like, you know, maybe September. Yes. You know, somewhere, somewhere in here. And I start to see a really nice bottoming formation. 
you know, I'll really heavily be looking for longs, okay? Because in my opinion at that point, that would have been a completion for our reverse impulse wave as well as our wave five, right? Somewhere before this November 5th date, uh, if I start to see a bottoming formation and I'm feeling really confident, you know, about a, a long position, I'll start to open them up here uh, once we start taking out, possibly taking out this low, right? But in the meantime, you know, that's that's very far away. So in the meantime, we could still see some trades here, you know, maybe a move back up to here before then coming down here. And, you know, I, this is all speculative. I, I you know, I, I don't know for sure. No one knows what's going to happen. But the point is, is that there are many, 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 many trades to be had between here and potentially, you know, before that November 5th date. OK, whether they're long or they're short, you know, price could come down here and we could see a pump up and finally get a touch on this wedge at some point. Um, you know, th th there's a lot of opportunities between there and there. So don't just don't I don't want your takeaway from this video to be, oh, my God, you know, we're going to go down and take out the lows right away. No, it's it's going to take time. It's not just going to go straight down there. OK, so we have plenty of plenty of uh, trading opportunities uh, between then and now. And we'll just take a brief look. I want to review kind of what happened here. Uh, in my last video I had posted, I had said, I titled it uh, Warning Signs for Bulls, and it could not have been more appropriate. Uh, and I posted this this week, uh, I believe it was very, very recent, you know, I think it was on Monday. And I, and I was ultimately saying this, look, I we were coming close to the completion of our wave four on the date that I said, you know, around that August 19th, August 20th date. And um, there just wasn't a lot of strength to be shown here. And, you know, so at that point, if you're coming close to the end of your wave four date and you're not seeing a lot of strength in the market, well, <laughs> you know, what are you going to expect to happen? You're going to expect to go down. Uh, so we had kind of some early warning signals here. We had these two wedges, you know, you can draw your bottom line from here or you can draw from here you can see they were both very well respected so we'll zoom in on that and you know we had a nice bounce here tried to hold it as support ultimately lost it then found support at this one and you know for me the signal was okay uh we just had a you know four hour close below this trend line after losing this one price is looking weak i'm not seeing any buying power or any bulls show up right and so that's the reason why I decided to take my short, you know, in this area. And like I said, I caught it a little bit later than I wanted to. It was, you know, at, after this candle had closed, um, I just I wasn't in a position to take a trade at the time, but I did get the alert and I knew I wanted to. So when I was finally able to, I did take my my short position uh, kind of in here. I laddered in on the way down. And, you know, ultimately it paid out in a huge, huge way. OK. And um, at this point, uh, you know, and I've posted this in, in the Discord. Uh, at this point, you know, I'm, I'm looking for some degree of a long setup. I'm not going to hold my breath. As I said, I, I wasn't super confident in this one. Maybe we'd get some degree of a scalp or something like that. But I'm not going to like, you know, go crazy and say, oh my God, I absolutely have to catch a, a long trade here. But, you know, ultimately what I'd be looking for is we, we do have a nice setup. We have a low. We took out that low once and then again, okay? Which is a great sign because these early longers, they all got wrecked. These early longers potentially got wrecked here, right? So we, we can just see that we have our first signs of a nice little long setup here, okay? We like to see this. And now ultimately we're looking, you know, to hold this 618. You know, nice hold and go up, create a higher high here, right? Because that would give us our low, our high our higher low and a higher high here, okay, for then market structure change. And then, you know, we would just look for some degree of continuation upwards. All right, so ultimately I, I'm looking to be sure we can hold this. We do find like a nice support here. You know, we can look at putting a stop loss down here and, and uh, look for that market structure change, okay, over time. And, you know, like I said, I'm not, this is not where I would be looking for swing trades per se, okay? Um, I would, you know, be very strongly probably taking profit, you know, uh, at, at, 
for, for sure right up in here okay this uh 22.5k uh daily here you know we can see that it was uh a really important support here several 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 times here we'll get rid of this wedge several 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 times uh before being a resistance over here right so we can see that that was a really key kind of uh, uh line in the sand here 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 right this whole area um you know i'd maybe look to long it back up to there or you know at the at the very least you know just doing like a, a fib pull looking to basically well, i think i had it here actually yeah you know just at each level slowly take profits because i'm not i'm not overly confident in, in us having like a true reversal here putting in a higher low and you know ripping to new highs but you know I'll, I'll look to take at least some degree of a short term long if it turns in into a longer term long then that's great you know it hedges my short that i already have open but you know like i said i'm still being cautious here and i'm definitely keeping an eye on this lower level down here